obviously, uh, you know, you're lining up there for a 20-yard attempt. Uh, just what's going through your mind? Uh, like, I got this. I'm confident I'm going to make it. I kicked that, and I made it. I looked my, I look I'm excited right now. When you saw it go through the uprights, man, you saw your, your teammates running out Just, on the field. Oh, I, I was happy. You know, we kept preaching to them all week long, hey, we're still a good football team. You know, we played two really good football teams, and, you know, I thought I thought by playing those guys and, and taking a lump, and, you know, we kind of – they were a little embarrassed of their play, so, you know, we did a good job, and I'm, I can't be more pleased with my coaching staff and my players. So. Jay, you were big in coverage all night, man. You're, you you know, matched up against Askew and, and number eight Willie. for them. Uh, how big – how tough was it covering those guys all night? You know, they're great athletes. You know, I just had to be on my game tonight. You know, they they big time recruits. I'm a big time recruit, so big time players make big time um, plays. Absolutely. Welcome back. And in a game no one expected, Alan, Pinson Valley goes on the road to a place where no one ever wins on the road. They go into McAdory's house and beat McAdory 24-21 in overtime. Just an amazing victory for them. Well, it was. And to go to McAdory, for anybody to go to McAdory and win a game is incredible. Since Coach Powell's been there in 2005, they were 60-7 and seven coming into the – and now 60-8. and eight. Uh, So they play well at home. This is a good team, ranked number four in the state prior to this uh, uh, game. And so uh, a great win by Pinson Valley. Pinson's defense – been kind of run over the last couple of weeks by Gardendale and Clay Chalkville. They showed up Friday night. They shut down the Yellow Jackets, shut them out in the second half. How about that? Well, they played. They really played good the whole game. They played good in the first half. You know, the uh, Pinson Valley got up, and then they had the Hail Mary right before half. Actually, the last play of the half uh, to to go up 21 to to 14, and then Pinson Valley just shut them down in the second half, and also in overtime. Pinson Valley's front four really controlled the line of scrimmage the whole game. They they all deserve a game ball. Uh, Jackie Matthews, a fantastic night throwing the football. 19 for 31, 224 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, how about that Pinson offense? Well, and it, it, it really gelled Friday night. You know, they struggled a little bit against Clay Chalkville. Uh, but, but Jackie Matthews, a sophomore, came out, threw the ball well. They ran the ball well, had some receivers that just, you know, really made some great, some great plays. And so uh, just another solid performance by Jackie Matthews. So South Alabama commit Jay Woods, also a very nice game for him and playing coverage defense against a couple of really good blue chip prospects for McAdory. He also moonlighted on offense a little bit in this game. He, he did. I think it was his first time to play on offense. Good defensive player. And, and I think he wanted to prove something this week. He, uh, he, he just, you know, he, he going against a couple of blue chippers, and he just wanted to show them he could play with them. And so he, he had a great game. Pinson Valley hosts Huffman this week. Now, they're through that rough part of the schedule. You know, they've gotten through Gardendale. They've gotten through Clay Chalkville. They beat McAdory on the road that nobody expected. Now their schedule gets a little bit easier with Huffman this week. It does, but don't go to sleep on Huffman. They have a lot of athletes, and uh, after a big win like that, the coach's biggest challenge is going to be to get these guys back out to practice this week, get them, get them pumped up, and, and, and let them know that if they don't go – uh, and play their game against Huffman, they could lose that game. And you'd hate after a, a great victory like they had this last, past Friday night to come back and lose one to Huffman. That could happen if they don't if they don't get out there and work and play their game. And Alan's going to have an interview with Coach Glover a little bit later in the show, so stick around and check that out. When we come back, Coach Hines from Hewitt-Trussell Middle School stops by to talk about his program.